Hello everyone. In this, we will understand uh, the economic interpretation of duality in a linear programming problem. So to understand this, let us consider the following example. Consider the following table, which gives the amounts of two vitamins, V1 and V2 per unit, present in two different products, food products, F1 and F2 respectively. So it is given in the form of a table here. These vitamins are V1 and V2, food products are F1 and F2. Uh, if I have to manufacture one unit of this food product F1, I need six units of V1, seven units of V2. And if I want to manufacture one unit of food 2, I need eight units of V1 and 12 units of V2. And the minimum daily requirement of vitamin 1 should be 100 units, vitamin 2 should be 120 units. And similarly, the cost of the food product is given for F1, it is given as 12 per unit and F2, it is given as 20 per unit. Now, if we approach this particular uh, problem from the buyer's angle or buyer's perspective, then uh, we need to determine what is the minimum quantities to be purchased of F1 and F2 so that this constraints can be satisfied. Means even if I use six units of uh, vitamin one in F1, eight units of vitamin one in F2, uh, I should at least give 100 units. Similarly, if I uh, procure F1 seven units and uh, F2 is 12 units, uh, the vitamin contents should be minimum of 12 units. So I need to determine how much I should purchase F1 and F2 so that these constraints are met with. So that's what is written here. Then the problem is to determine the minimum quantities of two foods so that the minimum daily requirement of the two vitamins is met. And at the same time, the cost of purchasing F1 and F2 is at its minimum. To formulate this as a linear programming problem, we will be assuming the quantity of F1 and F2 as X1 and X2. Let me write it here. Uh, here. Quantity. So let me incorporate here quantity. We are assuming the uh, foot product F1 to be of X1 units, X2 to be whatever we are planning to purchase, F1 to be X1 units and X2 to be F2 units, okay? To, so for to formulate the problem, let us assume X1 and X2 be the quantity in units of F1 and F2. So the objective here will be, uh, for the purchaser, it will be to minimize the total purchase cost. So that is 12 times X2 because 12 is the cost per unit and X1 is the quantity what we are planning to purchase. So 12 times X2 plus 20 times, sorry, 12 times X1 plus 20 times X2 subject to satisfying these constraints. What are the constraints? Six times X1 plus eight times X2. Since that should be minimum 100, so it has to be greater than or equal to 100, same way, 7 times x2 plus 12 times x2 greater than or equal to 120. And we know x1 and x2 are quantity, it cannot take any negative values. So x1 and x2 are greater than or equal to 0. So the first one, this one, this minimizing thing is your objective function. And these two, 6x1 plus 8x2 greater than or equal to 100, 7x1 plus 12x2 greater than or equal to 120 are the constraints. And the last one, that is x1 and x2 are greater than or equal to 0 will be our non-negativity restrictions. That will be the linear programming problem if we approach this data from a buyer's perspective. Now, the same problem can also be approached from a seller's perspective, right? Means, who is the seller? The seller who is selling these vitamins uh, to these uh, shopkeepers whomsoever is selling the uh, food products to them, the seller is selling vitamins along with some other commodities, he is doing it. 
So the local shopkeepers purchase the vitamins from him for the foods F1 and F2. So one thing the seller knows that the food products are getting sold majorly because of the vitamin contents in it, that he is aware about it. So for him, he need to fix maximum selling prices to utilize that opportunity in such a way that the resulting prices of the food products should not exceed their existing market prices. So he need to think about what will be his maximum selling prices for those vitamins. At the same time, he also want to ensure that the prices of the food products, what the uh, shopkeepers are going to sell, that should not exceed the current market prices. So that will be his objective. So to formulate this as a linear programming, let us assume the prices of vitamins to be W1 and W2 respectively. Means here, vitamin, so the price per unit. We are assuming it as for vitamin 1 as W1, vitamin 2 as W2. So that is what we wrote here. <laughs> right. Then the problem for the seller will be to maximize the overall sales revenue. So already you know 100 units you are going to sell minimum, 120 units you are going to sell minimum, and you decided the price to be of these vitamins to be W1 and W2. That means the total revenue will be 100 times W1 plus 120 times W2. That is what is written here. Subject to that has to be done without affecting the current selling price of the food product. Means six times W1 plus seven times W2 should be less than or equal to 12. That will be one constraint. Then other one will be eight times W1 plus 12 times W2 less than or equal to this 12, 20. So we'll see that is what is written here. Six times W1 plus seven times W2 less than or equal to 12. And then eight times W1 plus 12 times W2 less than or equal to 20. Again, this W1 and W2 being prices, it cannot take any negative values. So we declare that W1 and W2 greater than or equal to zero. So here uh, we just put it as Z star just to have a differentiation between this Z and this one. So we have differentiated with a star in it. Uh, here it becomes a minimization problem. Here it becomes a maximization problem. Means a single data, uh, whatever you are having, you can approach it in two different ways. The first formulation we call it as primal, primal problem. The second formulation we call it as a dual problem. So that is what is the economic interpretation of duality of a linear programming problem. So in case uh, if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.